Hello everybody, this is Robin Norgren. I am a third grade teacher in Arizona and I am covering um, Common Core Standards uh, for third grade language. We are going to be talking about the parts of speech. Um, so without further ado, just uh, join me and let's get started. We will have some activities embedded in this video for us to work together as a group or as partner work. And then at the end, I have an activity for you to do on your own. So let's first go over the parts of speech that we're going to be talking about today. We're going to start with nouns. How many of you already know nouns are person, place, animal, thing, I, uh, idea, or an event. So here's the very basic ones. A person, girl, boy, teacher. A place, school, store, park. A thing, bus, jacket, cat. Now, you can stop this video for a moment and you can take some answers from the group as well, or we'll continue to move on. Here's an example showing two nouns. Tom is going to school. Now, you see that I put in boldface print the words Tom and school. Both of those are nouns. Tom, what category would that noun go in? That's right, a person. And school, what category would we put that in? A thing or a place. All right, let's look at verbs. Now remember, there are two types of verbs. A verb can tell us an action that someone is doing, or a verb can express a state of being. For example, you see this picture of my bear. Uh, he could be running jumping or thinking or he could be just a bear i am a bear he was a bear you were a bear <laughs> being a little silly there but you understand what i'm saying so it's not an actual movement it is describing the essence of what something is and that is considered a noun um, excuse me a verb so here's an example of a verb in this sentence, he skipped to school. So the bold faced word skipped is a verb. Would it be considered an action verb or a state of being? That's right, it would be an action verb. Okay, let's look again now at adjectives. So we've discussed nouns, and we've discussed verbs. Now let's talk about adjectives. So an adjective is a word that describes a noun or a pronoun. Now, this is very important, and it's actually um, something to keep in mind because if you can think about these three ways to think about an adjective, it will capture the majority of the words that we would categorize as an adjective what kind, how many, which one. So what kind? Uh, when we describe a noun, let's say, for example, my beautiful bears up here at the top, we could say they are happy bears. We could say they are brave bears. We could say that they are excited bears. Now, all of those words would be called adjectives because they are describing the noun, which is what? The bears, that's correct. Now, how many? Now, in this picture, we only see two bears, but if there was one more, we could say three bears, and the word three would be our adjective. There are more bears than, let's say, chickens. So the word more would be describing the bears less bears, more bears, three bears. Now, we could also use a word to describe which one of the bears that I'm talking about. This bear, that bear, those bears. All of those words would fall into the category of an adjective. Okay, let's look at this, this sentence as an example. Sam is a good boy. So let's first pick out 
the nouns. What would be the nouns in this sentence? Sam, that's right, and boy, yes. Now, what is the verb? That's right, is. Now, is is considered an action verb? No, it's considered a verb that is a state of, be of being. Yes, that's correct. Now, what word, because there is an adjective in the sentence, would be our adjective? Yes, the arrow is pointing to the word good. It can be, you. it can be, now I would say I would put this arrow in two different spaces. So we could say Saint boy or good is used to describe the boy, but ultimately the boy that we're talking about is Sam. So Sam is a good boy. Now, pronouns. So we've discussed nouns, we've discussed verbs, we've discussed adjectives. Let's talk a little bit about pronouns. Pronouns are words that we use in place of a noun. It's an easier way to have a conversation about a noun uh, without saying the name or the noun over and over again. Let me give you an example. Tom went to the store. Tom went up the stairs. Tom looked behind the curtain. Tom went back down the stairs. Tom went out of the house. Instead of using the word Tom over and over again, we would change it to a pronoun just for ease of having that conversation. Now I would say we probably would combine some of those sentences as well because after a while our brains just get tired of hearing about Tom. <laughs> so we need to find a way of uh, having a conversation about Tom where it's not so taxing on the brain. Have you ever been in a conversation with a friend and they kept saying the same things over and over again and you just wanted them to get to the end of their story? Well, one of the ways you get to the end of the story or make it so that it is a more interesting story to hear is you use words such as pronouns and then if you've watched my other videos on conjunctions, these words are just nice um, ways to have a conversation become more enjoyable and not what we might describe as a flat or a boring conversation. All right, so let's look at this picture right here. If I were to have you to stop this video and have you have uh, write sentences about these bears describing each of the three bears, what words would you use to describe these bears? Now, first of all, let's be clear. Bear would be what part of speech? That's right, the noun. So we could now have um, a conversation about what words we'd use to describe the noun, bear, and also words that we could use to tell us about the actions or the state of being of these bears. So you can stop this video here and you can have a conversation either with a partner or as a whole group and then go continue on in the video once you are finished. All right, I kind of snuck that in there. Are you, the pronoun you, having fun? I hope so. Okay, let's talk a little bit about adverbs. Now an adverb is an adjective, well, we talked about that the adjective describes a noun or a pronoun. An adverb tells us the manner, time, place, or frequency. Now, this part of speech can be a little bit difficult to find. But let me tell you the easiest way to find it is the majority of words that end in ly, such as the ones that we're listing here, quickly, easily, eagerly, we would describe those um, as adverbs. So it's he walked quickly. So he is, so adverbs actually, it rooted in the word adverb, what do you see? 
That's right, the word verb. So just like the adjective describes a noun or pronoun, an adverb, in some sense, describes the verb, okay? So here's an example, she writes. So she is what we would call what? That's right, a pronoun. Writes, what part of speech is that word? That's right, a verb, and we'd also call it an action verb because it is something that she is doing. And then the word neatly describes how she is writing. So again, you can see that the verb and the adverb very, are pretty much tied together very closely. Um, and you'll see that happening in the same way that adjectives and nouns are, for the most part, pretty close to, to um, together because when they are working together right, that, right uh, in that way, you can see them almost connected. Not always, but many times as you are diagramming your sentences, you'll see that it is pretty close to um, the verb, whatever the adverb is. All right, here's another um, opportunity for you to uh, hone your skills. Give me a verb to describe these bears, and then give me an adverb to describe that verb. Let's say, for example, bear number three. He growled loudly. Now it's your turn. Okay, here's another one. Now you can say to your partner, I want to give you a noun and an adjective, or I'd like to give you an adverb and a verb. Or maybe you want to challenge yourself and see if you can put a noun, an adjective, a verb, and an adverb all in the same sentence. You can stop my video here and, and work together as a group or with your partner and then come back and we'll finish up together. All right. Now, here is a whole group activity, or also a small group activity, or even something you can do with your fast finishers. Here's what you're going to need. You're going to need some index cards, you're going to need some, some sort of writing utensil, and you're going to need a timer if you would like to play the game where you can do it um, kind of an, a minute to win it. So if you can do it in a minute or two minutes, however you guys would like to do this. All right, what you're going to do is each of you, and maybe you can assign the groups to do this, you are going to write down, one group will write a bunch of nouns down, one per card, please. And then one uh, group will write down as many verbs as you can think of. Again, separate cards, please. And then if you want to even challenge yourself, maybe also have someone write adjectives and adverbs. Then you're going to shuffle the cards together. Then you can have your group go around and pick up certain nouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, and then you come together to make sentences. Now you can work together, as I said, or you can work with a partner, or you can even uh, practice in a minute to win it sort of way. But here's an example. If you picked up a noun, the ca uh, cat, verb, jump, and the adjective, playful, then you can write the following sentence, the playful cat loves to jump. Now use your imagination and get really creative. It can be very funny. It could be silly sentences, but enjoy this time practicing nouns, verbs, adverbs, adjectives, and you could even throw in a, a few pronouns as well. I hope you enjoyed this game and enjoyed this activity, and please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, I do offer third grade uh, ELA lessons um, twice a week. All right, thanks for stopping by.